We will continue to procure more buses and other means of transportation to cut up with the increasing needs of our people. We will buy more kekena bear. We will buy more achaba. This is what we need. Some people were blackmailing me that I will stop achaba. If I stop achaba, how can people go to farm? How can people go to school? How can they go to their villages? This is just a cheap blackmail. I promise the transport unions that we are going to do that even before the removal of subsidy. And I, we, have, we have already secured the money to do that. Very soon when the government is set, we will invite you because seeing is believing. And by the These 30 new buses fully equipped and ready for service are now in the possession of the state government. And I said we pledge to make them effective and workable. With the pronounced procurement of these buses to add to the village of Yankari Express Corporation, we will be able to extend their services to more areas within the state, reaching out to the farthest corners and making transportation accessible to everyone, regardless of location or circumstances of the removal of subsidy on petroleum. The importance of mass inter and interstate transportation cannot be overstated. It serves as a backbone of any thriving society, facilitating the seamless movement of our people, goods and services. It links towns and cities, rural with urban, and producers with consumers. More importantly, it nurtures an environment conducive for socio-economic interaction and harmonious coexistence. Our commitment to subsidizing transportation costs remains unwavering, most especially in the face of recent increase in home price of petroleum products across the country due to the removal of subsidy. We feel the pulse of the people. We understand the pains and challenges faced by the masses in their duly movement, and it is our responsibility and that of all states and the federal government to make their life easier and more comfortable. At this juncture, I want to commend the federal government under His Excellency President Ahmed Bola Tinubu for gathering all the governors in Abuja and I as your representative was there. And we agreed that palliation will reach the people. It will reach people up to the local level. And as if we knew, we started this initiative before the election. There will be provision of big buses for city transportation to carry workers from their homes and, their, and to places of work, to carry students from one corner of the, the city to the other, and in all the towns and villages of both the state and Nigeria by the grace of God. And we can say that the new government is starting with a streak of justice and equity. It's carrying all of us together. And we are going so far so good. We will support it to succeed so long as it is for the benefit of our people. Beyond all this, other subsidy issues will come, including infrastructure. By the grace of Allah, within the next six months, the road will be rebuilt so that it will ease transportation between Bochi, Gombe, Yobe, and Adamawa. These have secured a very firm commitment. And your Royal Highnesses, this is something that we should be proud of this administration under His Excellency, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who is ready to do this in terms of the infrastructure that you will do in each of the geopolitical zones.